flat, mate. Push hard. Make Push hard! Before the check flag. <laughs> Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. Hey Charles, welcome back. Today with Project Cars 3, early access, full game. Oh, the C8. Nice, free look within the cockpit. Okay, this is definitely working with controller. I will say one thing immediately, it definitely plays better than what I thought it would be. I was not very impressed by the trailer, but it feels much better. So yeah, so I'm playing I'm playing on the Xbox controller, as you can see, and it works. That was like the biggest <laughs> biggest problem that I have with PC1 and 2 is that I just couldn't play it on controller because it was abysmal back then. Monument Canyon, okay, so that's one of the tracks. Character levels. Oh, we get even experience for each car. Assume for customization that you unlock for the cars. Okay, what's our starter car here? A Toyota GT86. Nice old Evo. And the Civic. Whoa. What a start. Fantastic drive. <laughs> what a start. Wow, I'm actually impressed. This is much better than I expected. I'm actually really happy. Like I'm always gonna be. I'm always happy when a new good racing game comes out. Comes out, and I think this is actually gonna be the first Project Cars game that I'm gonna recommend. So you can earn the big reward. Man, this reminds me so much of Drive Club. That is super similar to Drive Club. You know, you had an event, you had a certain car, and just set the best time. That is exactly the same thing. I love that they added that to this game. The arcade side of Simcade. It it really feels like that, and. That is exactly what I like. Good to see you. A fair comparison to Grid 2019. One thing, one thing I said about Grid 3 is that it was a little bit, you know, I thought it was too dry. This feels better. So yeah, that is uh, that I remember straight from Drive Club. Just having multiple events going at once, and you just could compete against everyone online and, and try to get the best, get get the best time. Ah, okay. So we want to stay in E class. Brakes, weight reduction. Ooh, there's gonna be a rally conversion. <laughs> like, I want to min-max my car here, because I'm pretty sure if I go to D-Class, I can't use it anymore. Okay, let's put in the camshaft. Okay, this is intuitive. You get top speed, you get acceleration, like, it, t it tells you exactly what it does. The game is actually good, yes. I know, I know everyone wasn't expecting too much from this game, but I can say it feels way better than, than Project Cars 2. Okay, we're now running on Ultra Graphics. I love, I love days like this. We get pleasantly surprised. You know, I'm personally a really big fan of fantasy tracks because you can come up with so many cool race layouts and environments that you wouldn't find in the world. So I'm really happy, I'm really happy whenever that gets into a racing game. Because I don't know about you, but after 5,000 laps in Catalonia, it's kind of boring. And you also have like a few elements that you might know from the Shift series, like Perfect Corners. Oh, this one's great. <laughs> this actually feels really good. Nothing, nothing is more satisfying when your car gets a little bit out of control and you get you get your grip back. Yeah, if you're a sim racer, you are probably gonna enjoy PC One and Two more. But if you're more into sim Kate, this game is for you. In racing, we trust. <laughs> Eat my dust, crew. <laughs> oh, nice visual customization is free. Oh, I love it. I always ignore, or not necessarily ignore, but very often I will reduce my amount spent on customization because it costs me in-game currency. Okay, we're gonna be running on the soft compound. <laughs> Go fast, the Kuru. <laughs> okay, definitely, definitely a change in handling. I'll see you at the checkered flag. Oh yeah, I was slipping up. Looks spicy. Guys, this game is good. If you want the short answer, the game is good. It's actually so much fun. I have I have massive control over my car. I think I do prefer this over the new grid. Pre, pre, yeah, actually I'm sure about that. I do prefer this game over, over grid 2019. <laughs> great work, great move. 
<laughs> Wait, that actually counted as a clean hour take. I do agree that the interface looks uh, very mobile gamey. That's probably one of my critique points as well, that the user interface could have been a bit more, more mature. You know what DriveClub had? DriveClub had an option to turn off the HUD entirely. There we go. Oh, this looks clean. This looks so clean. It's funny, it's actually the same button on PlayStation and DriveClub as well, where you just turn off the HUD. I did it in DriveClub all the time, where I was just looking down on my green shoes. I really like that it's not sim heavy anymore, because I think there's so many other sims already out there. I'm so happy that this plays more on the arcade side. Yeah. You don't see Shift 3? I mean, it mostly, like, it features some things from Shift, but mostly, I see so much Drive Club in this game. That's such a good thing. Drive Club is one of my favorite sim games out there. Especially the community event stuff is so much fun, and I'm really happy this is coming back. Oh, I need a Ford Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback. All right, let's spend our money. Oh, what a beautiful car. Last time I've seen something like this was in a third game. Ah, the higher point targets are smaller. Clever. That was good. <laughs> I didn't really look, I didn't really look at the point target we need to get. Isn't it a bit too arcadey? I don't think so, actually. It really, it really hits my sweet spot for Simcade. Man, if they can make the game like this, they could definitely make a street racing game. The way this game plays and feels, I think they could easily make a street racer if they wanted to. What I like, there seems to be proper progression. Yeah, you have to buy everything. You have to buy the good cars, you have to upgrade your cars. Talking about progression, like, if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna grind it out, you can't just unlock the next event by buying it. Sub special level 7. Yeah, I got it too. Oh my god, no! Wow. And that is that is what I'd like to show you when it's when I say it's Simcade. You're definitely gonna have mistakes like this. I'm gonna need those keys. I can't drive interior camera. <laughs> okay, I wanna test something. The track is wet, so it's a lot more slippery. Go nice and steady with the throttle and get a good feel oh. for the car's balance. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, the punishment is strong. Oh, the punishment is so strong. So if you want to make the game more difficult, you can turn off ABS, you can turn off traction control. To be honest, I don't think I need it for this car. Wow. Fuck! The game looks great in the rain. Look at this. Turn off the HUD. Just turning off the HUD, in my opinion, makes the game look so much better. Okay, D-Class then. I'm gonna have to buy something cheaper. Another Evo, Evo 9. <laughs> that one looks really good. Stats wise, the Alpine. I have not played with the new Supra yet. A 959, pretty sweet car. There's no way you can get a DB11 for 54k. I wanna see the dealership where you can get a DB11 for 54k. <laughs> or a 1984 288 GTO. Let's try. <laughs> that is such a badly set finish line. If you full speed into the finish line, there's no way you can break down for the first corner. Whoa! No, my, my first place. Ah, <laughs> uh, I got spun on the puddle. I'm not sure if it's a real track or not. It's cool. It's really cool. Wow, that's intense. Whoa, that's a really intense corner. That's not a real track, is it? So I think the sense of speed picked up quite a bit after the first speed class. I think it's gonna get better. Fast the cars. Alright, we're buying the new Super Boys. Time remaining. Ah, there, there, there. Wow, there were a lot of points. I like this mode as a mixer. It mixes up the rest of the gameplay. Oh, we raining. Wow, this is the first time I saw someone spin out. Yeah, it looks a lot more like what Grid 19 should have been. I agree. But I can see how the Project Cars franchise fans might be disappointed because they don't get a sim. You know, I do understand, I do understand the community. Like, this game feels a lot more like, like Grid 2019. 
Wait, six laps? I'm so stupid. Man. I literally thought it's over. Last lap, mate. Push hard. Try and take Push hard! Before the checkered flag. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work, mate. <laughs> I love how the autopilots don't even evade you. I really like it. I didn't expect to like it because I thought it was another sim, but it is the sim Kate. So we got a whole bunch of arcade handling and I really like it. I actually have full control over my car, even while using a controller. And all the other gameplay elements just add to it. I really like the racetracks. Graphics are like hit and miss. Sometimes it looks really good and sometimes it looks kind of legal. I'm not sure where the inconsistency comes from, but yeah, right now I like it. Especially the interface needs new colors in my opinion. I don't like the colors of the interface. So a few little things they should iron out in my opinion. So I think now that we're getting closer to 300 kilometers per hour, the sense of speed is there. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. By the way, shoutouts to the Racing Ahead team over at Codemasters, applying us with the freshest game codes. Amazing. Definitely gonna play more of this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It was fun, great game. Much better than I expected. But uh, that's it for me today. Sleep tight. Come back on Saturday, no, Sunday, and good night.